This is How Tomorrow Works, a series exploring what's next in education, careers, and the workforce. I'm your host, Dan Benjamin, here today with Brandon Etheridge. Brandon has been guiding University of Phoenix students for almost 12 years, the first decade as an academic advisor, and now a social media community manager. He's also a Phoenix grad holding his master's in psychology and a certificate in project management, and somehow he found the time to get his real estate license too. Brandon, welcome to How Tomorrow Works. Thank you for having me. So I was uh, the first in my family to attend college. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. When I first attended, um, I went for pre-medicine. I wanted to become a doctor, because I said, hey, you know, they make a lot of money. Why not? Found out <laughs> that uh, I don't like blood, and I didn't like all the studying. <laughs> so I ended up changing uh, my program five more times before wow. I found my niche. So I've had some students, kind of like myself, um, that have changed their program along the way, but they're all the better for mm -hmm. it because they learned as they were taking some courses, hey, I started off in this direction, I thought it was a good direction, but I think I found a better one. I mean, that makes a lot of sense, especially starting out on one path and then realizing along the way, like, this, this isn't what I thought it was going to be. For us, you know, as, as an academic advisor, um, it's exploring those feelings a little bit more. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, I, I've started this journey, but maybe I got to take a left turn instead of keep going down the path that I'm going on. Right. Now, Brandon, as the world moves toward online education, that's the direction everything's headed. How can students adjust to that? There's got to be a challenge there. How do they adjust? First of all, give it time. Just like anything new, it's, it's going to be a learning curve. So give it a little bit of time to kind of get your bearings and, and to learn how to navigate the, the e-learning websites that you're on. Give yourself some space too. If you create that space, it helps you also create that mindset that when I sit down, I'm in school. And that brings us to the final segment, which is how Brandon works. If you weren't in your profession, what would you want to be? Ooh, um, I would want to be a professional athlete. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the, uh, the body for it, um, but I, 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 would, I would love to pursue, you know, I, if I could, I'd be in the NFL. What is your least favorite excuse? I don't have time. Because for me, mm -hmm. you make time for the things that are important to you. So don't tell me you don't have time. Well, Brandon, thank you so much for being here. I really enjoyed it. I know our audience did too. I'm Dan Benjamin, and this has been How Tomorrow Works.